Let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The crucifixion. The everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader of Lumba, of Lumba, of Buddha, supernatural teacher. First lesson, St. Matthew chapter 12, verse 40. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Second lesson, John 16, verse 16. A little while, and ye shall not see me. And again a little while, and ye shall see me, because I go to my, to my Father. Golden text. Luke chapter 5, verse 35. But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them, and then shall they fast in those days. Quote, Brethren, all of you should focus your attention on the red garment, which is the symbol of salvation and redemption. By doing so, all your afflictions and failures in life are eradicated, and other maladies in life that had beset you, including the sins that you had committed since your birth, are totally wiped out through the red garment. If you have no faith and other godly virtues, fix your gaze at the red garment without asking for any for anything else and your deeds and your needs will be answered the dry fasting many of you do not know the efficacy of this day style good friday yesterday was thursday and tomorrow will be saturday the three days dry fasting observed last week should have been observed this week but the shift was made because you could not endure it you have heard the words of our lord jesus christ which said but the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them and then shall they fast in those days you can see the observance of this very word of our lord jesus christ in the dry fasting for three days which symbolize the three days and three nights that the Lord Jesus Christ remained in the heart of the earth. The regular Thursday fasting observed by members of the Brotherhood of the Cross and Star is also in consonance with this symbolic expression. Because I know the effect of the three days dry fasting will be very heavy on you, I decided that I should that it should be observed prior to this time. And this practice attests to the fact that Brotherhood of the Cross and Star does not exact directives of our Lord Jesus Christ. Does the, does, and this practice attests to the fact that Brotherhood of the Cross and Star does the exact directives of our Lord Jesus Christ. Did Christ not say, For verily I say unto you, Till heaven and earth pass away, One jot or title shall in no wise pass from the law, Till all be fulfilled. I do all these things to prove that our Lord Jesus Christ is the truth, And that his word is also the veritable truth. He further said, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. When you leave here, you start to say that the leader says this, or that I ask, what have I said? I am only exposing to you the words which were spoken by our Lord Jesus Christ. They are not my words, but 
that of our Lord Jesus Christ, who said, For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. I am not condemning Christendom, but what I know is that I am exposing the entire humanity to the truth in the statement of our Lord Jesus Christ. Here, in the new kingdom of God, which is brought out of the cross and star, we observe fasting on Thursday to commemorate the day he was arrested, judged, crucified, and buried. And this is to authenticate the words of our Lord Jesus, which says, But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from you, and then shall you fast in those days. You can see why we observed fasting yesterday, being Thursday. Yesterday, Thursday, we were on fasting. Today, Friday, we are also in fasting. And tomorrow being the third day, Saturday, we shall also be in fasting in consonance with the words of our Lord Jesus Christ in the scriptures. Nothing is added and nothing is subtracted. I have not been to any school, but I know by simple calculation that if anybody dies and is buried on Friday and resurrects on Sunday morning, he has not spent three days and three nights in the heart of the earth, as Christendom claimed that our Lord Jesus Christ died today, Friday. By so doing, the Christendom are at cross purposes with the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, which says, For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The whole truth, brotherhood of the cross and star knows that our Lord Jesus Christ died and was buried on Thursday and rose from the dead on Sunday morning. You can see that from Thursday 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. is one day. From 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. on Friday is one night. From 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Friday is the second day. From 6 p.m. on Friday to 6 a.m. on Saturday is the second night. From 6 a.m. on Saturday to 6 p.m. on Saturday is the third day and from 6 p.m. on Saturday to 6 a.m. on Sunday makes the 43rd night confirming that words of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who is a liar? Christendom or our Lord Jesus Christ or brother of the cross and star? Is it not pitiable of the entire mankind who claim to have wisdom and knowledge, but have not the word of our Lord Jesus Christ in him, in them. None can suppress the truth forever. Also, is it not very sad to see the entire Christendom who claims to be our, our Jesus Christ's disciples, having not his word or now believing in him? People have attended seminaries and universities to study Bible, but to the extent of obtaining doctorate degrees in it and other associate membership, but the knowledge of the word of our Lord Jesus Christ is not comprehended by any of them. They do not believe in the word which confirms his being in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights. Thursday, when we were fasting, praying and lamenting his death, the worldly people were drinking, eating and rejoicing because they love not the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are not observing these because we are our Lord's words, which says, But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from you, and then shall you fast in those days. We are not adding nor subtracting from his words. They are true, as our Lord Jesus Christ himself is the truth. 
we believe that the very word which says, For as Jonah was in the whale's belly for three days and three nights, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth are the veritable truth and that is why we start our reckoning from thursday when he was buried we have one day the night that gave birth to this day friday is one night today makes for the second day and today's night which will give birth to saturday morning makes it for the third night confirming the word of our lord jesus christ concerning the three days and three nights brethren today is a great day of joy to all and that will to all that will imbibe this gospel and uphold it as the truth our lord jesus christ from the foundations of the world is the truth and his words are true. None of his words had ever failed to fulfill since the foundation of the world were laid, and these words are unchangeable. Our work is to see to the effective observation of the words of our Lord Jesus Christ from Genesis chapter 1 to Revelation chapter 22, and also uphold them for the truth. That is why the Bible is called the covenant of God. What had happened? What is happening now? And what is to happen are all engraved in the covenant. Our Lord Jesus Christ made it abundantly clear to us that it is only the children of God that hear and practice the word of God. In the same manner, worldly children cannot hear nor do his words. All the children of God believe that our Lord Jesus Christ died and was buried yesterday, Thursday, and that today, Friday, he is still in the heart of the earth, and tomorrow he shall continue to be in the heart of the earth until Sunday morning when he shall rise from the dead in conformity with his word. That is why this warning is given to all who claim to be the children of God to come to this assembly and hear about the suffering, crucifixion, death, resurrection, glory, revelation, uh, and revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our, our brother, Apostle Paul, did say, For Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with the wisdom of words, lest the cross of Christ should be of none effect for preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness but unto us which are saved it is the power of god every day you are jeered at for, for surrendering your whole life to the preaching of your leader which preaching they say is centered on the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. It should be clear to the entire world that I have no other work but to expose humanity to the authenticity of his words. They continue, they continue also to say that last year he talked about this our Lord Jesus Christ. This year again he is still on the same subject. Brethren, let this be known to the world that in the text in the next 20 years I shall continue to reveal the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. For this preaching of the cross is foolishness to them that are doomed, but unto us who are saved it is the power of God. What do you mean by the word of God? It is the words of our Lord Jesus Christ. What do you call the foundation stone? It is the word of God which constitutes the words of our Lord Jesus Christ and is the cornerstone to all things. All those who believe implicitly in these words as the veritable truth are saved. 
the words of the words of God says that there are certain people whose sins are always before them and any sins they commit are immediately exposed on the other hand there are also certain people whose sins are reserved to be exposed in due time now is the time to expose the entire humanity to the glory of our lord jesus christ he has now attained his glory and i will continually unfold it to the extent that men will question whether all these things are said about the son of mary that glory is revealed in the whole contents of the holy bible i have never preached about any other person except our lord jesus christ and also i do not see any other person apart from him that i should preach about because he existed before the foundations of the world were laid the world came out of him and he was the one who came down and died on the cross of calvary for mankind the last word of our lord jesus christ when he said it is finished is not understood by many people the professors occultists philosophers and spiritualists do not know the meaning of that statement the whole christendom bishops archbishops and all church dignitaries are not exposed to the meaning of these last words of our lord and master it is my strong wish to be with you always revealing the mysteries surrounding our lord jesus christ to you but your material inclination do not allow you the opportunity to say to stay and imbibe these words it is finished the word it is finished can be correlated with the word of god which says and almost all things are by the law purged with blood and without shedding of blood there is no remission if christ had not come to make the dumb if christ had come to make the dumb to speak the lame to walk the blind to see make the dead to hear make the deaf to hear preach the gospel feed the people with bread and fish and finally disappeared without shedding his blood the world would have perished our joy should know no bounds and to express this joy it is our duty to sing and dance for this singular act of love exercised by our lord jesus christ for the salvation of humanity the word of god says ye have not yet resisted unto blood striving against sin were it were it to be that our lord and master came to the world alone to effect healing on the sick make the dumb to speak the lame to walk the deaf to hear the dead to rise without shedding the blood his work would have been to no avail nobody attaches importance to the efficacy of this statement it is finished which is the cause of salvation of humanity today arising from absolute remission of sins but instead you see from him all the material things of the earthly life such as that you should be healed of your sickness now that he has come in his glory the shedding of blood on the cross of calvary made the entire humanity made the entire humanity to obtain salvation and of all their sins blotted out which is what you ignore but rather you are looking for the things that have no life brethren all the miracles performed by our lord jesus christ were only signs of identification of god's presence on earth in human form 
but his actual mission was to come and shed his blood for the remission of sins and the redemption of the entire humanity. Total absolution. Remember the word of God which says, For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, said the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a God, and they shall be to me a people, and they shall not teach every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me, from the least to the greatest, for I will be merciful to their unrighteousness, and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. Hebrews chapter 8 verses 10 to 12. This is a perfect explanation of the word. It is finished. From the time of this expression of our Lord, God does not record sins against us any longer. God our Father has his perpetual abode in us from that time when our Lord Jesus Christ uttered the words, It is finished. Brethren, because of the sin of fornication and adultery, 23,000 persons died in one day. This happened because it was not finished. It was the promise of God that unless an innocent blood was shed, the entire humanity would be destroyed. Nobody was responsible for the death of our Lord Jesus Christ, nor was his death caused by sin. Judas Iscariot was not responsible for his death, nor did the Jews cause it. Pilate was not responsible either, but all these happened to bring to fulfillment what was written about him. His death is not a thing of sorrow but joy that will make us sing and exalt his glory above all things love one another this is why you are taught here in brotherhood of the cross and start to love one another as our lord jesus christ and master had loved us now how did our lord and master love you the meaning of this statement is the same as the expression, it is finished. He further said, Greater love art no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friend. Christ loved us so dearly enough to undertake this mission for the salvation of mankind. He was not promised money to undertake this mission, and apart from him, no one loves us enough to have done what he did, he voluntarily came down to demonstrate this priceless love for the salvation of mankind and reconciliation of humanity to God. There again, brethren, the first and spectacular thing I have to do is to reveal the members of Brother of the Cross and Star to the world as the real children of God and not as adopted children. This is the reason why you all know God as the Father. What has redeemed all of us unto God is this expression, it is finished. Our redemption therefore was not attained through works, righteousness, reference of God, accepting God, nor because we seek for it. Since he, our Lord and Master, had to exercise this priceless love, he did without looking back. This eradicated all our sins, including sins of fornication, adultery, falsehood and division. What is the interpretation of the word of God says? Even as David also described, the blessedness of man unto whom God imputed righteousness without works, saying, Blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven, and those 
whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man whom the Lord will not impute sin. Who are these people? This statement applies to all those who have faith in him, and they are the children of God. God does not record sins against this group of people. That is why when Peter asked our Lord Jesus Christ, saying, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him? Our Lord Jesus Christ answered and said unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. Is that particular statement clear to you, sons of men? Since the Lord and Master said it is finished, no sin is recorded against any human being, as he had used his precious blood to redeem us unto God. For this, all the sins committed by the entire humanity were set at naught. That statement to Peter by our Lord and Master also explains it is finished. You should then endeavor to tolerate your fellow brethren also as our Lord Jesus Christ tolerated us. God does not count sins for you because the statement it is finished had covered you. Who is that righteous man that exists since the foundation of the world apart from our Lord Jesus Christ who has come to save humanity? Through him my sins and your sins are no longer remembered for all are being wiped out. Read the second, read the first lesson again.